Shalom Israel. First and foremost, all praises and glory, exaltation to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of great millstone who rule impeccably well. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways and the byways, risking their lives week in and week out. Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this true doctrine. Kwam Yasharallah. Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Yahweh Basham Yahushai. All praises and glory to our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son. We always give glory to our highest power. Amen. Well, I want to talk about two words. Yeah? The word proud. And the word humble. The Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahshai, hates a proud look. And the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahshai, he loves humbleness. All right? But when I checked at the definition in Google, humble. The opposite of humble is proud. The Mosai hates a proud look. So anyway, here it reads now. Humble can be an adjective or a verb. Opposites of humble, the adjective may include proud, which is arrogant. Self-centered, egocentric, egotistical, narcissistic, boastful, bumptious, opposites of the verb humble and self organize grand, stand, boast, brag. That sounds all dirty, isn't it? That sounds dirty. Those are, the, those are the opposites of the word humble. All right? So we must pray for the Most High to remove all pride from our, our, our spirit and to replace it with humbleness. And I'm going to read something in Ecclesiasticus in the book of, and also known as Sirach, right, in the Apocrypha. I'm going to go to Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 35, and I read from 16 to 20. Now this is what the proud will receive, and this is what the humble will receive. All right? And it reads here, Sirach, chapter 35, verse 16. He that serveth the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahshai, shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. The prayer of the humble, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say that again. The prayer of the humble pierceth, Pierce the clouds until it come nigh. He will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. For the Lord Yahweh Sham Yashal will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient towards them till he have smitten in sunder 
the loins of the unmerciful and repaid vengeance to the heathen till he have taken away the multitude of the proud. I said again. Till he have taken away the multitude of the proud. You see what I'm saying here in this, in this, in this, in this verse here? In these couple of verses about the humble and about the proud. Verse 19. Right? No, Salakio. So let me start to 18 again. For the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai will be will not be slack, neither will he will the mighty be patient towards him, till he have smitten in sunder the loins of the unmerciful and repaid vengeance to the heathen, till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the sceptre of the righteous of the unrighteous. Verse 19, till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds and to the works of men according to their devices. Right? Till he have judged the, the cause of, peop, of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy. Mercy is seasonable. In the time of affliction, as clouds of rain in the time of drought, mercy is seasonable. In the time of affliction, as clouds of rain in the time of drought. So, with all that, give our praises and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai for taking us out of that darkness to removing us from that darkness which is the pride and replaced it with the light because we are the light it's a light fighting against the darkness it's a light, it's the humble Fighting against the proud, the darkness. So we have to give all praise and glory and exaltation, right? That he's moved us into a different state of mind, right? So we have to give him the glory. Because like I said, pride is a horrible, dirty, evil spirit, right? And I said before, that is what's running this country now. The countries of the world, all the countries, all the kingdoms, right? But Babylon will fall because that pride won't go on forever, all right? That pride will not go on forever. So we pray to our mighty father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakodash, for humbleness because humbleness pierces those clouds. Yeah. All right. So with all that, again and again, forever, we give all gr glory and praises to our power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakakodash. Amen. Thawadah.